Now that we've installed Tabular Editor, let's find out what all the fuss is about here with the external tools. Click on that now here in the ribbon, and then, oh, they're actually grayed out. I cannot select these. All right, so a little bit of prep work here then. So File, Options and Settings, we navigate to our options, and then within the global settings here, we actually want to navigate down to our preview features, and we need to enable the store data sets using the enhanced metadata format. So go ahead and press that now. It'll give us a nice little dialog box here when we press OK, just asking us to restart our Power BI desktop. Yep, that's fine, I agree with that, press OK. Close out your Power BI desktop and then go ahead and fire it back up. All right, so let's try this one more time. External tools, very cool. I can now see them in black and bold here. Tab or editor, click that now. It's gonna be a little prompt here. Uh, so I need to use the enhanced metadata model. Yep, so I've got that now enabled and I need to set this experimental Power BI features within file preferences. All right, so let's press OK. Let's navigate to the file preferences like it asked. And then the allow unsupported Power BI features letting you edit all TOM objects and properties when connected to a Power BI data model. All right, yeah, uh, that sounds great. So let's go ahead and press that. And then the other option here, I'm seeing this detect changes on local AS instance. Automatically update the tabular object model uh, whenever changes are made. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. So it's able to instantly read and write, press OK, and then we are ready to begin.